This video is going to go over how to create the match file that you need when you're grading a test that has more than one version. So I'm going to go into the test grading folder and just use an example test that's in here. And under test materials I've got version A and B, so I'm going to open those in Microsoft Word, but you can open those uh, in any text editor for this. And then I'm going to go to the test grading folder and click on Remark Test Matcher. And this is actually just a shortcut to a web page, and the address is up here. So you can get to this web page from anywhere, um, which means it's actually a good idea. Once you have your tests, you can try creating this match file. And that's a good check to make sure that all the questions from version A are in, question, in version B and so on. So what I'm going to do is go in to Microsoft Word. And for version A, I'm going to select all. So that's Control A. Um, I'm going to copy that. So I've right-clicked and I'm copying. I'm going to come back to the web page and right click and paste that into the version A area. I'm going to do the same thing for version B. So that's select all, copy, come back here and paste it into version B. Um, one trick is you need to have at least one uh, line above question number one. If you start immediately with question one, number one, it has some trouble here. So there could be the intro text, that's fine to include, or just put in a, an extra line return if you need it. And then you just need to set these all uh, correctly. So number of test versions, in this case, we're only doing two. You can do up to four. The template, there's only one option right now. Um, the delimiter tells how to find questions. So in this case, it's going to be a number followed by a period. The other option is a num number followed by parentheses. And then the last thing is the number of questions. There are 10 questions here. And click Process Test Versions. And you're just going to get this long string. It's not intelligible, but uh, you're going to import it into the program later on. So click on File, Save Page As. And from the drop down, you're going to want to make sure to select Text File. And I'm going to go back to the desktop, Test Grading, Example uh, Tests. So just store this file with my test. And I'm just going to call this uh, Match. And it's going to be a text file. You can name it anything, the name's not important. Click Save. And I can close out of the web page now and go on to the next video, which is grading multiple versions.